know, social media has done some great things. Uh, you know, it has given us the opportunity to share our life, uh, to communicate, to discover new things, to meet new people. Um, and there are some wonderful things that can come out of that. However, social media has one really big trend, which is it has allowed so many people to fake perfection. They only show the good stuff. No one ever sees the bad side. No one sees the late bills or the empty fridge or the broken marriage or the rebellious child or the mental breakdown. Um, nobody seems to want to show that kind of stuff off, right? Hi, I'm Shauna, and my husband Pete and I are Dollywood Family Discipleship. We are both ordained ministers with the Church of God, and we invite you to our home to just come study the Bible with us. And um, today we are going to continue 1 John chapter 1, and on verses 8 through 10, um, I'm going to read those and then we'll start to discuss. It says, If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. If we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar and his word is not in us. Okay, so verse 8 here says, If we claim to be without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So we talked about um, social media and the fact that, I mean, think about the filters on some of the apps that we have that make a person look like they are perfect like they have the perfect nose they have the perfect skin they have the perfect eye color uh, makeup is applied perfectly you have all of those things and um what does it do it just creates a lie um how does anyone get to know the real you if you're always being filtered by this uh perfection and um we need to understand that uh we have imperfections we are flawed uh, but god still loves us uh, we are flawed but god sent his son jesus we are flawed and we have sin but jesus decided that he loved us enough to lay his life down you know we have um these things in our lives that we want to hold on to um, that are causing damage and even destruction and se separating us from god and um, it's not fun to admit that we have them. So what is the, um, what's the thing that the scripture is telling us to do? If we confess our sins, if we confess, if we acknowledge that we have sin, if we, um, um, I'm sorry, if we turn from that sin and we um, are sorry, true true feeling of uh, repentance and knowing that you're guilty of something and that it is going to cause damage to you to others and it's going to damage your relationship with God it says if we confess our sins he is faithful and just thank you God for being faithful and just that is his character he is faithful he is just and what's he going to do he's going to forgive us and he's going to cleanse us from all unrighteousness and he's going to make us righteous in right standing with God so that we could have a relationship with him, not just for a day or a week or a year, but he wants to make a relationship with you permanent for eternity and never ending relationship. And it says, if we claim we have not sinned, we make him out to be a liar. I, for one, do not want to try to make God out to be a liar. I will never win that game. That will never be a trophy that I will achieve because God is faithful. God is just. God is perfect. And God is holy. Everything is good. That Everything that is right comes from him. Um, he is perfection. He is righteousness. Um, and we need to love him, live for him, worship him as such. Um, so um, the word would not be in us if we would say that we had no sin. Uh, we have to understand and know what this says, what this says about God, what this says about us, and um, come to the understanding and knowing and the knowledge that we are sinners in need of a Savior. And um, I am so thankful that Jesus is my Savior. I want to encourage you to stay in this word. We are going through 1 John, 2 John, 3 John. Great books, wonderful books. Uh, study them, know them, and encourage others to study along with us. Um, 
like and share this video. And I want to encourage you that every day you'll get up, you'll exalt God, you'll encounter God, you'll edify yourself by reading the Word of God and engage this world for Jesus Christ. Let everybody know just what a wonderful Savior there is out there that doesn't expect perfection, that knows that we are flawed and has made a way for us to come to Him and He will cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Until next time, God bless.